ഗ്രാം സ്റ്റേനിങ് ഗ്രാം സ്റ്റേനിങ് ഈസ് ഡൺ ടു ഡിഫറൻഷിയേറ്റ് gram positive and gram negative bacteria grams <coughs> it's a golden uh, uh, gold standard technique to identify the microorganisms so gram positive organism look violet in color gram negative organism look pink in color now coming to the procedure procedure it's a four step procedure number 1 uh, primary stain primary stain is uh, violet you can use ginger violet methyl violet or crystal violet second one is uh, gram siding and third one is decolorizing agent gram siding is called mordant which fixes dye to the cytoplasm the fourth one is counter stain you can use saffron in or dilute carbon fuchsin so let us start the procedure so keep the smear on the staining rag smear facing upwards so Uh, cover the smear the most of the common mistake the student do in the examination is they stain on the reverse side so make sure that uh, you stain on the proper side cover the smear with uh, gentian violet for 2 minutes wash with water add mordant gram siding Uh, for 1 minute wash with water decolorize drop by drop with aston or absolute alcohol counter stain wash counter stain wash and counter stain with saffron in or dilute carbon toxin dilute carbon fashion wash blood dry see under oil immersion microscope in oil immersion microscope diaphragm fully raised full light and you put an oil on the smear touch the smear and push it down or push it up depending on what microscope you have until you stain it once you see something you draw the diagram usually we give gram positive cocci in clusters that is staphylococci in right nice diagram and gram positive look i will fly which are pink in color then you write this line gram positive cocci no <coughs> observation very important is uh, at right at right gram positive cocci arranged in clusters morphologically resembling staphylococci and gram negative bacilli are seen the 
this is the format you have to write the report once you write the report call the examiner he will ask you why some organisms these are called grams reaction or gram postulate theories of gram positivity one is acidic nature of the ph they take up basic dye what we are using is basic dye second is thick cell wall of gram positive and third one is the cell wall has got outer membrane which is made up of lipid lipoidal outer layer in gram negative that makes the during decolorization this this layer is dissolved the iodine complex comes out the fourth one is uh, the chemical theory that is magnesium ribonuclease and thick oil acid so you should remember acidic ph they have more affinity towards basic diet thick cell wall 40 times thicker than gram negative lipoidal cell wall get dissolved during decolorization diiodine complex comes out and magnesium ribonuclease and thick oil acid present in the gram positive cell wall that makes it uh, that makes it <coughs> to retain the primary stain so the question most commonly asked is uh, name some gram positive organisms microorganisms uh, they are remember lactobacilli genus lactobacilli genus uh, erythrophlorix listeria listeria monocytogens the fourth one is genus cornibacterium fifth one is uh, cornibacterium if all these are considered under uh, uh, spore bearing organism clostridium species clostridium and sixth one is anthrax so they are uh, gram positive organisms even uh <coughs> actinomycetes no cardia these are all gram positive remember gram negative are e coli salmonella shigella proteus embryo cholerae so the next question they ask you what is gram variation gram positive organism look gram negative because of old culture and over decolorization when organism is grown in presence of penicillin they look they lose cell wall penicillin they lose cell wall and uh, most of commonest organism that undergo gram variation are streptococcus so please remember this now moving on to the clinical importance one is bacteriological to choose the media for growing the organism gram positive need set different set of media and uh, to choose the antibiotic so gram positive infection we give beta lactam antibiotic so gram negative we give uh, monoglycosides and cell wall as organism we give tetracyclines
So in nutshell, they ask all this thing, and uh, uh, these are the commonly asked questions in the examination. Thank you very much.